So this is my eight foot tall Cerberus Gigante printer. It's a 3D printer. I can actually print four foot tall by about 30 inches in diameter. With every machine, there's always you know, an evolution. There's always changes that come along. There's always you know, the, the, the first model where you look at it and go, that is awesome. But if only it would do this. You know, so that's how things change. That's how things grow and evolve. And that's what's been happening with this printer. It's been working very well. And I've just been seeing, well, you know, if we could just make it this, you know, if we could tweak it like that, we can make it just a little bit better. And that's what I wanted to show you was just this latest uh, change that we've made to the printer that has really, really just bumped this thing up to a next level. So this is the hot end. This is actually the old hot end, but this sits there in the printer and the filament comes from the extruder wheel and it goes down into this. And then these two wires hook up to the heating element that actually heat up this whole unit. And then this much of it actually turns into molten filament that is extruded of the nozzle on the end down here. And this is what we've changed to. That's the difference in size. And why did I go to this type of a hot end? This is actually called a super volcano as opposed to this one, which was just a plain old volcano. But the reason I went to this, now I have this much molten filament to extrude with, and that just allows me to run the machine that much faster. It's doing the same job as this old one, it's just that much more material. So in the settings, I've gone from 45 millimeters a second of travel speed up to 60 millimeters a second travel speed. I haven't doubled the speed, but I have greatly improved it. And another you know, little side benefit that goes with the new super volcano is it has a much bigger heating element in it and a much higher range. So before with this little volcano hot end, I could only do like two, maybe three different kinds of filaments. With the new super volcano, I can do all of them. You know, there's like, I don't know, 30, 40 different types of filaments out there. This one is high, it's big enough, it's fast enough, it, it's got a high enough capacity that I can run up into the 280 to 300 degree centigrade range. So I can pretty well do any filament out there now. You know, you have to unscrew this old hot end, get it out of the way. The new hot end will screw right back on to the same mount. It plugs into the, exactly the same fittings to get power for the, for the heating element. And the temperature sensor, the thermistor that's right there that tells the computer what temperature it's running at. Now you have to go to the computer and you have to do a little, little bit of software change. You have to uh, readjust the extruder, make sure it's still extruding the same amount of material you know, at the same time frame. You, know, you have to run a, a, a temperature check where the software says, okay, it says this, but now it actually means that. Just to help balance everything out, get the computer, the desktop computer to talk to the computer up there, make everybody happy, and then it's gonna go back to work and everything's gonna be great. There's been a couple of other big changes to the machine. We'll talk about those in another video. It's all software stuff. So, you know, but that's, that's the biggest hardware change that I've made here lately. I've sped the machine up a lot. You know, I, I've taken it from multiple day printing down to like, a day, maybe a day and a half. So that's just you know, a quick little update on the latest change I've made here. If you wanna see what this machine is doing now, you know, definitely jump out to my website and go to Fine Art, go to 3D Printing, and you'll see all the new material you know, or all the new pieces that I've been creating right there. And this is the machine that's doing it all. I do appreciate you watching. Don't forget to give me a like if you enjoyed this video. And please, click on an ad or two. It helps pay for the videos itself. I'll see you all next time.